Hi there, I'm Hope with Health Beauty Nails and today we're gonna to talk about all the things you need as a first time suite renter. Make sure you like and subscribe, turn on the little notification bell so you never miss a video and let's just jump right into it. So I recently did a vlog about moving into my new nail suite. This is the first time that I'm renting my very own space. And so I just went through the process of making sure that I have all the things that I need, getting furniture, equipment, retail, all of the stuff. So I made myself a really long detailed list and then I had to add to it as there was realizing things that I needed along the way as well. So we'll go through those things today. So we'll start with the higher ticket items, things like furniture, your machine, etc. If you have a pedicure based business, obviously you need some sort of pedicure client share. I was able to find mine at a local tattoo shop, so that really cut down on the cost. I bought it lightly used, and then with movers, it came out to be about half the price as it was online. So I would definitely encourage you to scour Craigslist. Maybe there is a business nearby that isn't using their equipment that much, and you can get a really good deal. If you do manicures, you also need some sort of manicure client chair. You need a manicure desk. You definitely want to think about client comfort, but also your own comfort. If you have a manicure chair I would suggest getting one that the client chair does not have wheels on it so they're not like rolling around on you for the entire appointment how wide is your manicure desk there are lots of different things that you want to consider how high is it so client chairs pedicure chair manicure chair manicure desk you also need some sort of furniture for you so a pedicure stool for you or a manicure chair for you again something that is going to help you stay comfortable and allow you to be mobile move as much as you need to for your service but think about the ways in which you're sitting and how long you're going to be working for we want to keep our setup as ergonomical as possible so that we can have longevity in our career making sure that you're an appropriate height and you're not going to have to be like reaching all the time if you're doing pedicures what are the ways that you can maintain being as upright as possible instead of being hunched over all the time? These are things to think about as you're looking at your furniture. The next thing that I would encourage you to get is some sort of cart. So I have a pedicure cart with all of my things that I need for every service really at the ready to grab and go as I need it. Even if you do manicures, you're gonna need something near you, your manicure desk as well. So some sort of cart, or if you have a drawer system underneath your manicure cart, that's a really good way to go too. But again, you're gonna need things at the ready, some sort of cart or drawer storage for things that you need during services. If you sell retail or you wanna have some nice decorations near your place, some sort of shelving, my space is very very small it's nine by eight excuse me nine by three inches and eight feet by three inches those extra three inches are super important so I really need to make use of my vertical space so these are hung on the walls the owner hung these up for me which was really awesome and this holds pretty much all retail as well as my licenses like right at the top but you can also have like some little decorations and stuff I have a a small art print up there but making use of your vertical storage is a really great way to go and especially if you sell retail it's nice to have it on display where your clients can see it and you can point it out as you have the service you can talk about the features and benefits as you're doing the service so they're already getting it in mind for a potential purchase by the end if you don't have it for retail having it for storage is really great too you know we need spaces to put our things so any type of storage is going to be great i have clothes storage also behind me as well I have this it's like a garage husky unit but it works out really well there's a drawer and like a cabinet area I have my implements and tools in here and things that I need close by but that I don't want to be out all the time because I want to keep them nice and sanitary so like my towels are back here also so we want to keep everything nice and clean again things just that are out of the way out of sight for the client but you know looks still nice and professional so some sort of shelving storage cabinets I know a lot of suites will sometimes have built-in storage like I'm pretty sure Sola Salons often has like built-in cabinets and things places to put stuff you definitely need that also a place for laundry if you're using reusable towels those need to go somewhere so that they're not just like strewn about on the floor then getting into services you know do you work with gel do you work with acrylic do you work with polish these are all things that we need as well I had to 
completely invest in a brand new nail polish line when I moved into the suite. I was working with other people's products prior to this. That's definitely a large ticket item if you are investing for the first time into a polish line. I decided to go with Dazzle Dry because I do a lot of pedicures and it dries in five minutes, which is a great benefit of the system. People can put their shoes right on afterwards. It's awesome. It's a more expensive polish line. So I definitely set aside some money for that. Luckily, I had a lot of gel polish already. So that wasn't something that I need to invest in also. But if you are investing in a gel polish line for the first time, a great way to go is potentially to buy the entire color line of the brand because you can potentially get a deal that way. They'll give you a discount if you buy all the colors and that way you're gonna be set for a while. I started off with my polish line. I got about 55 colors and I have about 85 gel polish colors. And so far that's been fine. I can grow as we go, but I would say you wanna start with at least 50 colors of gel or polish. Otherwise you might start getting comments like, oh, you don't have a lot of options, but 50 should be a good start. Cleaning supplies is the next thing so disinfectant for your tools and implements i submerge all my tools into a disinfectant tray so you would also need a tray for disinfectant or some sort of vessel where things can be disinfected and i also like to use wipes to clean down my pedicure chair anything that the client touches and in between services to keep everything nice and clean i like the rejuvenate wipes for this purpose because it kills things in one minute so when you're going back to back with clients this is a really nice one to use because it really accelerates that that time in between clients you need a trash can and trash bags again more storage for your nail polish and gel polish i like to have mine on the wall again just making use of that vertical space and it sort of becomes art in this way where people can enjoy it and see all the pretty colors that you have and then for services what i did was i went through my services and i kind of thought through them and i made myself a list of like the steps that i did and the things that i need for every step for every pedicure service you know my client sits down in the chair i lift them up because i have an electric chair i put two towels one underneath each leg i spray them down with the cleanser i use my own lap towel to cleanse it down so already i know i need three towels my cleansing spray and then if they're wearing polish i'll start to remove the polish though so that makes me know that i need a nail polish remover as well as some sort of cotton so i like to use the two by two squares so i need i knew i needed two by two squares so i added that to my list that's what i would recommend to you just go through your services and really make the steps so you know what you need for every single step and just make note of that so that you're making a list okay like i need two by twos i need my cleanser i need sanitizer for services towels some sort of manicure towel i like to use reusable towels some people like disposable towels so some sort of towel is a necessity cotton so two by twos or even like cotton coil that's a really good way to go because that you can get a huge box of that of like hundreds of feet of it for a really good cost nail polish remover if you're doing regular polish pedicures and your polish does take a little bit longer you want to make sure that you're getting pedicure slippers i recommend gloves i always work with gloves i always wear a mask as well i use a reusable n95 mask that i then replace the filters with so i made sure to get extra filters as well that's something that you don't think about at the ready too but filters for your mask nail files i have started using the reusable diamond files from erica's which are really nice but if you want the disposable ones make sure that you get those as well buffers nail buffers i like to get the little square buffers as well as shine buffs for my natural nail clients who don't like any coatings but you can give them a little bit of a shiny finish on their nail i use one use disposable sandpaper caps for my pedicures as well so think about, about all the disposable so your cotton your nail files your if you use a cleanup brush or sticks something like that buffers toe separators that's something that i use as well so those are all of my necessities client furniture tech furniture, storage, cleaning and disinfecting supplies, your personal PPE, gloves, masks, maybe even glasses if you're doing pedicures, trash can and trash bags, disposables for each service, tools and implements. So again, go through your service and think about what you need. So say for my manicure service, I use one towel on the table for manicures. I cleanse, I use my lap towel to wipe down the hand. I have a nail clipper and a nail file at the ready. I have a 
one or two bits that I use that I always have at the ready for manicures and hand cream. That's for my basic manicure. Oh, and a shine buff. Again, go through your service and think about all the things that you would need and list it out. Maybe you need acrylic powder and acrylic monomer and an acrylic brush. What do you need for your gel polish services or your gel, your structure gel manicures? What would you need for your regular nail polish manicures and pedicures? Go through the service, write it all down and itemize those things so that you know that you can get them. If you're doing more traditional manicures or pedicures and you might need a callus softener, you can pop that down. What kind of tools are you using? Tools and implements. Do you need to get a new e-file? Right now I am just using my Koopa Manny Pro portable one, but I am getting a vacuum e-file, which I really highly recommend. If you're doing waterless e-file pedicures, I highly recommend getting one with a built-in vacuum to really minimize and cut down on the dust. Even just working with my my little portable one for two weeks, it's been a lot of dust. So again, that's really why it's important to wear a proper N95 mask. It's mostly about the health there. You know, we really don't want to be breathing that dust in. So minimizing it with the vacuum is a really nice way to go. We don't want our clients breathing in that dust, their own foot dust either. If you get a vacuum e-file, you also need to get the filter so that you can be changing out those regularly. Client furniture, tech furniture, your tools and implements, including your e-file machine, if that's something that you need. Storage, retail, if you're gonna sell it, you'll need the retail items themselves and a way to store or display it. Towels, your product, polish, gel, acrylic, if those are things that you're using. Also solutions, I didn't mention that yet, so acetone, alcohol, nail prep cleanser, sanitizer, other sorts of disinfectant and cleaning supplies for in-between clients and making sure that you're properly cleansing and disinfecting your tools, products that you need. So that includes gel, nail polish, acrylic, as well as moisturizers, nail oil, if you're doing foot care services, your foot creams and such, and then all your disposables, so cotton toe rope, cleanup brushes, cleanup sticks, buffers. Make sure you have trash available, trash can available. And then storage I think is really important too. Those in my opinion are really the necessities. And then if you want to make your space look a little nicer, you can get an art print to hang with some frames. Oh, one other thing, you wanna make sure that you have somewhere to display your licenses. So I have mine at the top. I have them in frames, so if you wanna put them in frames, definitely that's something that you can buy, but you do, at least in the state of Washington, you have to have them displayed publicly for people to be able to see. If you do a lot of manicures, you might wanna get an armrest for clients to put their hands on. I don't do a lot of manicures, but I'm thinking about getting one of those anyways, just to make it a little more comfortable for me in my manicure services. My main piece of advice is really just to go through each service that you do, write it out step by step and what you need for every step of your service. That way you can really make a clear list and not miss anything that you might need. Another thing that for me has been essential is just little organizational tools and you know trays and things to put things in so that I know where everything is. It looks nice and I can just grab things and know that they're really ready to go. Oh, another thing <laughs> that I think is an essential is a label maker. I have some bottles of solutions and things that were clear that I filled with acetone. Those have to be clearly labeled. So definitely a label maker if you don't have one already. You could also probably just write on it, but it's not gonna look as nice. And if you need to change the label in the future, you can easily do that with you know a stick on label. You know, things like art or a towel steamer and things that are a little more luxurious and not absolutely necessities, I think those things can wait if you are really trying to save your money and just do the essentials in the beginning. I think that's totally fine. And you can let your clients know, like we are going to grow and evolve as I'm in here. And as you continue to support me in my business, I will be able to grow and give you more color options. And your clients will understand. They want to help you. They will be excited that you're growing in general or if you're moving to a new space. So let them grow with you. Let them in on the process a little bit. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect to begin with. I know I say that even though like I wanted it to be, my space to be absolutely perfect when I was moving in, but you will learn more once you are in the space and doing services. So don't stress. I would say take the money that you have and really get your essential items first and invest in those really nice essential items like your client chair, your tech chair, 
and then you can grow and evolve and make the space even prettier as you are moving along. That would be my advice. So those are all the things that I think are essential to start with. Let me know if I missed anything or if you think that there's anything that's super important that I did not mention today. Let me know if you're moving into a spot, how it was when you moved into your first nail suite. What are the important things for us to have? And one more reminder to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.